COVID-19 is one of the biggest public health challenges of our lifetime. The financial implications of the pandemic are still unclear and will not be known for months. Throughout this pandemic, our community has been hit hard. Many local businesses have suffered losses and have had to pivot their operations to survive. The municipality has made every effort to help the community in various ways. Clarington waived rent for tenants of municipal buildings and council approved a $100,000 grant program for not-for-profit organizations. As well, Clarington waived interest on taxes for May and June with the April and June tax payments being pushed back to allow our residents some reprieve in time to adjust their finances during these stressful times. The municipality established a COVID-19 property tax relief program for residents and property owners who could show that their local portion of their tax bill was unduly burdensome on their overall finances. Businesses have also been offered municipal support through a COVID-19 Community Improvement Plan grant. The grant is to help with costs businesses have incurred to implement COVID-19 safety measures mandated by public health to maintain safe operations. The municipality has not been immune to the effects of the pandemic. We have lost several revenue streams due to facility closures and program cancellations. While we have reopened some facilities due to the ongoing public health restrictions, we are not back and fully operational. Clarington has also incurred unforeseen costs totaling more than $1.4 million related to COVID-19 safety measures. The money was used to purchase PPE, make improvements to information technology that allowed us to pivot and offer more online services and cover the costs of refunds to residents for canceled programs and services. To offset some of the pandemic costs, the province has announced funding of up to $4 billion to help municipalities in Ontario. In the first round of funding, Clarington received more than $2.1 million to help cover pandemic related expenses. It's clear that we will continue to deal with the cost of the pandemic. And as we reopen more facilities and reintroduce programs, the biggest challenge will be to overcome societal perceptions and anxiety about signing up for public programs and recreation. Here in Clarington, the health and safety of our residents and our staff are priority. We continue to make safety improvements and enhancements to build public confidence in our programs and our facilities. We are planning a fiscally responsible budget for 2021. At the same time, we hope to support economic recovery by moving forward with some of the much needed capital projects, including road improvements, new parks, and upgrades to our existing paths, splash pads, and facilities, just to name a few. These investments support our growing community and the needs of our residents while simultaneously supporting the economy. I encourage you to learn more about the budget online at www.clarington.net forward slash budget. Join us at our committee and council sessions as your elected officials set priorities and approve the tax levy for the year ahead. Together, we can set a clear path for our community as we recover from COVID-19.